Hi, I'm Bob Boros, and this is my Jazz and Tap Dance Life. And today is Monday Maddox. Uh, just this past week, I started an episode where I demonstrate some of the technique exercises of Matt Maddox, who is one of the legends of jazz dance. Um, his technique he calls freestyle jazz dance, and I was fortunate to work with him for over 20 years. Uh, it's a very demanding technique, both mentally and physically, and what I'm doing is bringing some of those exercises to you every Monday. Um, this past Monday, I worked on a demi-plie exercise with a simple hip isolation. So today we're going to take levels two and three. Um, in level two, we add a much more intricate hip isolation. In level three, we add a side contraction and an arm port de bras. So I'm going to assume that um, you know everything from the first video. I won't go over anything from that video. Um, and we'll just dive into level two and level three. But in the meantime, please subscribe to the channel and uh, click the notifications bell so you get an automatic uh, notice of when we put on new videos with the channel, okay? So here's the mathematics demi-plie exercise in first and second position, and first we'll do level two, okay? So just let me back up a little bit. Um, okay, and now, in the hip isolation, what we're doing in the level one, we had a stretch to the side with the opposition in the hip, into a jazz fourth, into a second position, and a return into first position from there. What we're gonna do now in level two is gonna be a little bit more intricate, and I'm gonna start off teaching it by saying, bend the knees, parallel feet. I'm gonna contract the hip to the left side. As I go to the other side, I wanna keep my chest still and let one knee straighten more as I do this action. So that's a simple version of finding this. So we don't want this to happen. I don't want the ribs to go side to side. I just want to let those hips work in an opposition fashion with the legs kind of like pistons. Now that's a simple version to learn it, but actually what we do is have a half circle of the pelvis to the front and side. So from this left contraction, I'm gonna go to the front. Both knees are bent with the pelvis contracted and then to the right and then both knees bent to the left. So this is actually the action of the hip isolation that we will be doing, okay? So what I'm gonna add that in as I come to my parallel jazz first, I step to my right side, develop the right arm, the hip goes to the opposite side. This will be one. Then I have the front contraction, and I drop the arm. Now I'm on the right side contraction, two, and three and four, so I'm really using the abdominal muscles, and five, then I come over to the, my jazz for six, and I open to second position, and I would close in first or second, depending on which side. If I'm on the other side, I'm gonna use the left arm and contract to the hip right, this would be one, contract front side, two, and three, and four, keeping the chest centered, five, the jazz for six, open seven, and eight and close, okay? So that's what we're gonna add on to what we did last week in level one. So if I'm starting with my feet in first position, nice and tall through the center, relax on the shoulders, arms are not here, nice and relaxed, okay? Everything Matt was about was relaxation in movement. So we would have at one, two, three, rest four, one, two, three, rest four, plie, one, two, three, four, five, six, parallel. Now here's that hip. It's one, and two, and three, and four. One more, five, jazz fourth, open second, and a tendu, close in first. And one, two, three, rest four. Push up through the center, two, three, and four. Plie, one, two, through the heels, four. Make the V, then parallel. Now to my left side, hip isolation, right, and two, and three, and four, and five, jazz for six, and seven. And if I go to second position, I would have one, two, a little bit deeper plie, and one, two, three, and four, plie, one, two, three, four, make the V, six parallel. Now I just bend that knee, one, and two, and three, keep the chest centered, and five, jazz fourth, Open second, push to second, and one, two, three, rest four, push up tall, feel your hip sockets, lift up, and one, two, and three, make the V, and five, six, parallel. Now left arm, one, and two, and three, find that pelvis, 
and five and six and seven and I'll come to first position and prepare my straight line. So that's a really intricate hip isolation. Um, it's really tricky, something you need to work on quite a bit, okay? So you wanna work on that. Now, to go to level three, we're actually gonna shake it up a little bit. From the first position, I'm gonna have one, two, three. Now, holding this position without anything rotating, I'm gonna rotate my shoulders, going from the left shoulder to the right side, and feel a contraction right here. That's on the fourth count. Then I'm going to pull the arm across as the other arm comes through the back. Five, six. This is an extension lengthening seven, but not with stiff fingers, right? You stretch to the wrist. Down eight. Then one, two, three. I hold there and then sharply on four. Four and five, six. I extend seven and eight. Now, before I go into the feet, this is what we're gonna do with the arms. We'll be in this position. There is a circle of the left arm and open from there. The right arm is gonna come up and down and out. And what happens is the left arm begins and the right arm follows. So I drop the left and I follow with the right. Then I drop the right and I extend through second and then the arms will drop. So that's a tricky exercise. It's also tricky because if I'm going to the right side first with my contraction, I drop the left arm. So you have to be able to remember that. So we would have one, two, three, four. Now I drop the left arm, let the right arm follow. Then I rotate to parallel and descend. From here, I would step out and do that same hip isolation that we just did in the level two exercise, and over and over, okay? If I had one, two, three, now the right side, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we would have one, two, three, four, I drop the right arm, Left arm follows, I rotate to parallel as the arms extend and descend, and then I would step to the left side for the hip isolation. So this is a little bit trickier, and this is the level three of the Maddox demi plie. So from first position, I would have one, two, three, five, six, extend, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and eight, plie, one, two, I'm gonna drop the left arm, four, and five, six, parallel, and the hips are one, and two, and three, nice and supple in the arm, and five, jazz fourth, open second, return to first. Now, one, the right shoulder presses across, five, six, extend, and drop, and one, to left shoulder across, pull the right side back. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, and three. The right arm drops. Five, six, parallel, descent to the left, and two, and three. Find that pelvis work, and five, and six. Now, often in second position, he would pick up the tempo. One, and two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven. And eight, and a one, and two, and three, five, six, seven, and eight. Plie to the left arm. It's five, six, parallel. Then the hips work. One, and two, and three, and four. One more. It's five. Jazz fourth, and open. Second on the left, and a one, two towards the left. Five, six, seven, and eight, and a one, two, three, five, six seven and eight, plie, two, right arm this time, five, six, parallel, and it's one, and two, and three, and four, one more, five, jazz fourth, and second, push, and make my straight line to finish, okay? So that's a mathematics demi plie with a hip isolation exercise. We did level two, and we did level three. They're very intricate. They're very particular in the way that you execute them. And what you want to do is have the least amount of tension and just let the body flow, whether it's the hip action or whether it's the arm action.
Okay? So my name is Bob Boros. This is my jazz and tap dance life. Please subscribe to the channel and please hit that notifications bell. And I'll see you next Monday for another Mathematics Freestyle Jazz Dance exercise.